Hello and welcome to Eleniyama Yoga. This video is for when you are sick, you're feeling a little bit under the weather, or you've had a cold, or you are in the beginning of your cold. So it's not recommended to practice asana and pranayama if your nose is blocked, if you are in the middle of your cold. So we are not going to do any um, inversions, no downward facing dogs. It will be more of a restorative practice. And let's start in our wide-legged child's pose. So you're going to need two blocks, a blanket or a pillow. And we're just going to come with wide legs, wide knees, extending our arms to the front and letting our forehead to the ground. So really pull the arms forward, feeling the extension of your spine. Opening your hips. Let your belly fall down to the thighs. Stay for two more deep breaths here. And then look forward. Come to your fingertips and just move your hands to the right side. And let your forehead on the ground, extending your left side body, stretching it. Then come up to your fingertips again, come back to center and walk your hands to the left and place your forehead down, extending the right side of your body. And come back to center. Two more breaths here in wide-legged child's pose. And then slowly come up and come to your cross-legged seat with a block or with a pillow just to elevate your hips. So in this position it's much easier to stay for a longer period because our hips are elevated and the rotation of the uh, knees is not so big, so it's more comfortable here. And start by rolling your shoulders back. Your spine is very long. This is also a really nice position to protect the lower back to make sure it's not rounding when you're sitting with your hips elevated and just roll your shoulders, close your eyes for a little bit and just smile. Your hands are on your thighs. And change the direction of your shoulder rows. Rotate to the front. Open your eyes and come to stillness. Take your arms behind your back and interlace them. Really pull them down, opening your chest so your chest bone is pointing up. Look up. And then take your 
interlaced arms as they are and place them on your right hip so just behind you and then let your head fall to the right shoulders are down take two deep breaths here opening the left side of your neck and then take your arms and place them on the left hip shoulders are down and let your head fall to the left two deep breaths come back to center from here we're going to do cat and cow seated so take your arms interlace them behind your head opening your elbows to the side inhale look up chest pointing up and exhale round your back your elbows come together really push your head down so that you feel a neck opening Inhale up, look up, opening the chest and exhale and come down. So when you're cold, your chest might really get very stuck and very closed. We tend to really close the body when we are sick, so such a nice opening of the chest is really beneficial after a cold. Inhale up and exhale down. And one last time, really make it your best one. Extend your chest, elbows to the sides. Inhale and exhale, push your head down, opening the back of your neck. And then come back to center. From here, we're going to come to a seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana, but a really relaxed version. So you can take your pillow or, or blanket and just place it below your knees. Or you can take your blocks, make sure the flesh under your buttocks is away and then extend your arms up inhale and exhale bend down really try to relax here so we are opening the hamstrings a little bit but as our knees are really bent a lot this is more for releasing the back You can put your head on your shin bones. So this is more the kind of um, in yoga forward fold. And we can stay here for a few breaths. One last breath. And then <clears throat> come up, remove the pillow. And come to your reverse tabletop. So as you are sitting, just place your hands behind your hips. Two hands away, distance. And then just elevate your torso. Your head is looking, your eyes are looking up or your head falls down behind you. Breathe in here. Elevate your torso as much as you can. Really engaging the glutes. And 
and then come down. From here, take your two blocks, cross your legs and come to your knees, standing on your knees for our camel pose. So this is another back bend. You can place your blocks just on the inner side of your heels for help and we're gonna place the arms on the waist inhale look up opening extending the chest chest bone pointing up towards the sky and exhale come down and place your hands on the blocks so you can either stay here take your head back or you can put the, the blocks to a lower height or even you can do without the blocks and just take your heels whatever feels best for you now and just push your hips to the front this is the most important and to exit the pose take one arm to the lower back take your head up other arm to the lower back and come up and from here we're gonna come to our Bada Konasana with a block so just sitting in our butterfly pose on a block again elevating the hips really long back long spine breathe here for two breaths feeling your spine extending and then take your arms up with the next inhale and with the exhale bend down as much as you can maybe just a tiny little bit with a flat back looking down and breathing in through your inner thighs feeling them open two more deep breaths And then slowly come up and from here remove the block and place it behind you so we're gonna come to supta bada konasana or a lying butterfly place the block and then maybe a pillow or a blanket whatever you have and just lie down with open knees Place your uh, hands on your belly, feel your breath. This is our last pose. So really make it the most restorative one. Feel your inner thighs opening. and release everything here Two more last breaths here. And then slowly come up, back to seated on your block. This was our 
yoga for when you are sick. And this was a really restorative practice, a little bit like in yoga. It really meant to wind you down, but also to get your body moving, chest opening, and your neck, upper part of the body engaged, after maybe you felt a cold and you were really closed. We wanted to open the chest. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon again.